I want to talk to you about the domino effect because safety systems are just that. They are a system. They are like links in a safety chain. If you have a hundred link safety chain and you've got 99 great links and then you've got one weak link, it's going to cause the entire safety chain links to fail. That's no different than we have in this particular case. If you, when you glue the, when you glue the roof structure down, the roof cannot take the energy and distribute and channel that energy from the front to the rear, down the sides of the vehicle, underneath the vehicle. When the roof was glued and the, there was no ability for the energy to ripple and to channel through there. And if you, and you can actually see this in crash testing. When you watch a roof that has been welded with 104 welds, you literally see the roof panels rippling because it's channeling that energy. However, when you glue it, the glue will not stay affixed. The manufacturer spent hundreds of millions of dollars developing, designing, conducting engineering analysis and conducting crash test after crash test after crash test to determine what kind of bonding material are we going to use? Will it, will it provide adequate safety? A vehicle's repair shop should never under any circumstances think they know more than the vehicle manufacturer because they didn't spend hundreds of millions of dollars developing, designing, testing and manufacturing the vehicles. They need to follow the OEM manufacturer specifications because like it says on page two of the 2009 to 2013 Honda Fit repair body manual, if you don't follow this repair manual, people will die or be seriously injured. It's that simple.